Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a long overdue review on the Dose of Colors X I Love Serehi collaboration. Now this collection really drew me in right away because of the packaging. I know a lot of people say don't buy makeup for packaging because you're not wearing the packaging, you're wearing the makeup, which is very sound advice. But I think that's just part of it, you know? We spend our time doing our makeup because we want to make ourselves look best light. And I think packaging does the same thing for products. It makes it look its best. And you know, you know your packaging is working when people are buying your stuff. So I really love this packaging. Of course, everyone's obsessed with Millennium Pinks. I'm like obsessed with palm leaf. If you guys see my house, our bedroom is palm print themed. I was going for like the Beverly Hills hotel vibe and so we have a accent wall that's green with like a palm print in a gold frame. Really obsessed. I really want to add more touches of green. I have green palm leaf print accent pillows. It's a whole thing. So love me some palm print. Anyway, I was like no way. After I bought some things from the Dose X Desi and Katie collection round one, I was not a huge fan. And so I was like, no way, I'm not buying any more things from Dose of Colors. Their products are not my favorite, and I don't want to keep talking about Dose of Colors negatively if their products just don't work for me. I just need to like cut my losses and say bye bye But I saw Stephanie Nicole's review video, and I was like, oh. So I watched it, and then she mentioned that this palette was not the same formula as the Dizzy X Katie collab which then totally made me, you know, pull the trigger and I ordered the eyeshadow palette. I ordered both the highlighters because I couldn't decide and then from our collection I was really attracted to two of our liquid lipsticks. One of the shades I'm wearing today, this is Aesthetic and then I also got Freesia because I'm such a fan of those like hot red shades and the thing I wanted to tell you guys is this is my makeup. I've had it on since about 7 this morning and I haven't touched it up. The liquid lipstick has stayed on. I had a poke bowl as well as a soup from Panera and a sandwich and my lip has stayed on so I love that and overall this collection has really kind of made me happy and kind of you know bought my love for Dose of Colors back which I'm really excited about. So this is the eyeshadow palette and this retails for $35 and I really like this palette. I know Angelica has been talking about how she loves really small palettes and this is one of those palettes. It might not look like it right away, but it is one of those where you can do a really nice neutral look. So if you want to wear this to work, you can do like the two brown shades all over the lid and just do like a neutral look. If you want to do a little pop of like a champagne, you can do these two colors. And then if you're, you know, going for something a little more bold, you can do this as an all over lid shade or this black shade and I've also used this black shade in the crease. It is like a infused with glitter but the glitter can like fall away so you can do like a smoky eye with that as well. So this is a really good binny palette and I just want to swatch this for you guys as well. I really like the formula. They're so pigmented. I'm just so happy with this and it is the palette on my eyes today as well. I can't remember if I swatched this palette for you guys in another video so I figured I would give you some swatches today. Look at this shade, oh my god. I use this today with eyeshadow glue. I always like to use the Too Faced eyeshadow glue or the glitter glue just to help it stick to my eyes better but the color does swatch really well. And then I just want to swatch that black shade with a lot of glitter in it. This shade reminds me a lot of the black that is in the Desi X Katie palette as well. And I was so interested in that palette because I was like, ooh, I should buy it, I should buy it. But honestly, I just don't need more repeat you know, products in my collection. I'm happy with this palette. So for now, I'm going to say no to Desi and Katie and, you know, continue to enjoy this palette. Now, it does say this palette is paraben, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. So this palette does have a 12-month shelf life. The net weight is 6 times 0.1.70 grams or 6 times 0 0.06 ounces. And this is made in the USA. So I really, really, really like this palette. I will put the shade names on the screen so you know what they are. And I am so happy I bought this and I love the formula. So that is the first thing I want to show you guys. And that's the only eyeshadow palette I have 
from Dose of Colors. The next thing I want to show you guys are the two highlighters. So I got both shades. I'm actually wearing the shade Bath today. It wasn't something I thought I would actually like. I thought it would look so pink on my skin tone, but it actually doesn't. It just blends really well with my skin, which makes me uber happy. So it's beautiful and blinding. Then the other shade is called Soulmate, and this one's beautiful and creamy too. And I like this one on my skin tone as well. This one is more of a champagne color. And then I wanted to swatch the shade that I bought from the Desi Eggs Katie collection, which is Mira May. This one did not come back in their collection. It looks very similar, but it's not exactly the same. I love Surrey E1. Looks a little bit more pigmented. Let me swatch. They look pretty close, actually. Maybe that's why they didn't bring Mirame back and they only bought Fuego because maybe they thought Fuego wasn't as close to... Let me hold these up. You guys tell me. Do you think these look similar? I know one of my recent reviews or swatches I did was the Marc Jacobs Omega Luminizer and a lot of you said I should have done comparison swatches and I was like, oh my gosh, like, how did I forget to do comparison swatches? Like, that was so dumb of me. So I'm trying to make up for it by kind of giving you guys comparisons of the products I have. Then the other two things, like I said, I bought from the collection are the two liquid lipsticks. Now, Aesthetic is the shade I'm wearing on my lips today. Honestly, you guys, shades like this are like just go-to nudes for me. I love a good burnt orange. It just is incredibly flattering on my skin tone. And I like the Joseph Colors formula, so I was happy to purchase that. I wanted to show you a similar shade that I have in my collection. This is from Kat Von D. It's the shade Plath. Like I said, I just love a good... This one's more brown, whereas the Dose of Colors is more orange, but I wanted to try and show you guys something similar, just so you guys had an idea. Kat Von D is one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. I know people feel all types of ways about her, but I'm not going to throw away perfectly good makeup. This is the other shade. It's called Aesthetic, and it's like a beautiful, hot, corally color, which I love for the summertime. I'll probably still wear it over the holidays, to be honest. And then this is the liquid lipstick from the original Dizzy X Katie collection called Hot Fire. I felt like these were very similar too, but looks like Hot Fire is just more of an orange. So there are some comparisons of the liquid lipsticks that I have as well from the Dose of Colors X I Love Sari collection. So I really love this collection. I'm so sorry this review video is going up so late, but I do believe all the pieces from the I Love Sari collab are still available. So if you're interested in picking those up, I would totally encourage you to do so before they sell out or whatever. Or if you don't want them, that's fine too. And let me know your feedback on this video. Did you enjoy it? Give me a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for spending time with me, guys. I will catch you in my next one. Bye.